Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 compatible tweaks for iOS 7.1.1. So recently there was a jailbreak release for iOS 7.1.1 on through the use of Pangu. I'm going to be doing a video on that later. However, for this video, I do want to at least give you the top 10 compatible tweaks for iOS 7.1.1. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first tweak I want to show you all is known as a coup. I'm not going to be doing an in-depth tutorial of the tweaks that I'm going to be showing you, but I'm more so just going to mention them and show you a little quick overview of them. But um, basically, Aku, what it does is it allows you to quickly compose a text message from within your notification center as well as quick reply. So to quick compose a message, you're basically going to slide down from here. So you're going to type in up here who you want to send the message to the message itself. You can also attach a photo, um, cancel, open up your text messaging application or go ahead and send the uh particular text you're trying to create. Now for the quick reply option, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate that because I do not have iMessages enabled right now. But most of you all should be familiar with what a quick compose option looks like. Basically when the message comes in without having to go into the messages application itself, you have a small banner or a small box just as you saw right there where you would then be able to respond to that person. And that's basically our coup. Next up we have OXO2. So what this does is it changes the appearance of your notification. It changes the appearance of your multitask switcher here. Taking a closer look, you'll notice you have the option to go home here, airplay, quick toggles, as well as a card view of your applications um, and some more quick actions here, such as playing music, uh, pausing and adjusting your volume and things such as that. Now, a cool feature that I really like about this particular tweak is that when you slide up on the home button here, or on the home card here, you can close out all of your applications. So instead of having to close out all of them one by one, you can do a quick action right there to close them all out at once. So I'm going to go ahead and close them all out. Um, there's some other features for OXO2, which can be configured within your settings. So I'm going to hop in there just to give you a quick overview. So taking a look here, you see that you do have some other options you can adjust for this particular tweak. Definitely check it out because it does make using your iDevice that much better. Up next, we have Spring Tomas 3. And what Spring Tomas 3 does is it gives you a lot of options that you can customize for your device. So pretty much you can adjust your animations to basically make your device appear as though it's moving fast by speeding up your animations. You can also adjust the app slider, your control center, as well as the appearance of your dock. So you can hide the dock, you can hide the dock back background. Um, you can also resize it. You can hide the labels. You can also adjust the appearance of your folders, icons, lock screen, pages, and your status bar. So there are a lot of different things you can do in terms of turning off what you want to appear or not appear in your status bar. And this all can be done with Spring Tomas 3. So normally you would need another tweak to kind of make some of these adjustments. However, I would definitely highly advise you to check out Spring Tomas 3 before you go and spend your money on a bunch of other tweaks that might ultimately be found within the settings of Spring Tomas 3 for you to customize on your device. So definitely check this out because this is one particular tweak I feel is a must have because it lets you pretty much take customizing your device to that next level all from within this one application. So after Spring Tomas 3, we have Jelly Lock 7. Now you'll notice my little slot to unlock option is gone from beneath here and I now have a circle where if I hold my finger on this, it now has given me the option to quickly launch into these applications from my lock screen. So I can pretty much hop straight into my clock by sliding my finger over it like so and then it will immediately open up until my clock. So I can do that for any of those five applications you saw on my lock screen. And there are some settings for this tweak that you can adjust. So with Jelly Lock 7, you can turn it off or on, respring your device to make your changes pretty much take effect that you've done within the settings here. You can adjust your app shortcuts. You have five that you can put in here, but you don't have to utilize all five of them. And then you can also adjust the appearance of the Jelly Lock options down here. So you can have the badges show from your lock screen. Also, you can blur the background and a few other things in terms of getting this particular application to look more the way you want it. Up next, we have Winterboard. And if you are a long time jailbreaker then you are probably familiar with this because this is basically what you would need to install a lot of your custom themes 
So with Winterboard, you can come in here and choose the theme that you want and then respring your device and see those changes take effect for your icons and such to then look like that theme that you have so chosen. Themes for other things on your phone, such as games or even your messages application may also be selected from within here. But Winterboard is primarily used for theming. It's a must have if you're going to theme your phone. And for all of you that have been asking about what theme am I using, it's flat seven and it's the round icon mask that I currently have selected. So if you're not familiar with that theme, definitely check it out and give Winterboard a test run with that and you can kind of get a feel for what the power it holds. So up next we have package backup. This is what can be used to back up your jailbreak tweaks. So not only do you have the option to jail uh, to back up your jailbreak tweaks, but you have the option to back up other things on your device as well. So not only could you use iCloud and iTunes to back up your device, but also package backup, which will then in turn also back up anything you download from Cydia. So definitely check this out. It is a bit on the pricier side in terms of applications. However, it will definitely come in hand if you ever lose your jailbreak or erase your jailbreak and want to restore all of those tweaks back onto your device pretty effortlessly, then this is definitely something to check out to get that done. There are some options to configure for package backups, such as if you wanted to scan city of packages or Apple stock um, apps, in addition to photos and videos and have an automatic backup. And if you want it to only happen on Wi-Fi so it doesn't consume your data. Just a ton of different things that you can choose to better get this the way you want it to be. I do feel it's worth the money in terms of getting your information stored elsewhere so you don't have to do it all one by one. Coming in next we have speak notifications. So with this particular tweak, whatever notification you get on your device, it will speak it out for you. That way you don't have to look at your phone or look at your iPod or whatever. It will speak out what the notification is. So I'm going to send myself a test notification. Tweet but message from tweet but at touch zero on Santa touch zero auto message. This is a test. So hopefully you can hear that. Let me turn this up and try it again. Tweet but message from tweet but. So as you can see, it spoke the notification. So for whatever reason, you may want it to read out loud what your message content says. This is definitely a tweak you could benefit from. Coming in next, we have Volume Plus, which pretty much gives you a nice range of options for your volume HUD. So when you turn up the volume, you now have the ability to skip to the next track, uh, pause the track, as well as adjust the volume from within here and see the song that's playing as well as the album that is playing from. In addition to the seconds that have played and the seconds that are remaining. So you get a lot of information in terms of the song that's playing. You will only see this if music is playing. If music is not playing, then you would pretty much get the regular volume HUD that you normally have. So as you can see, I pause the music. And now that the music is paused, you'll notice if I go in here to turn up the volume, it looks as it normally does. So it gives you more options when you have music playing. It's a pretty nice addition because you then don't have to jump into the music application. You can then just do it all from within the volume hood when you simply turn up or down the volume of the song. Another tweak that's definitely worth checking out is Alkaline. It's basically going to adjust the way your battery looks. The symbol that generally appears beside your battery can then be customized to give it a slightly different look. So you'll notice up here beside my battery percentage, my icon looks different than it normally would. And that's with Alkaline. So definitely check that one out. And last but certainly not least, we have Barrel. Barrel pretty much gives you an animation on your springboard when you switch between pages for your icons. So hopping into my settings here, you see that you have different modes and currently mine is set to curl and roll away. However, if I did choose something like cube outside without respringing, I can just jump into my home screen and then see that animation applied. So you'll notice now it kind of has this cube effect and that's done with barrel. So that does sum everything up for today. So hopefully these tweaks were some use to you. If so, or if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. Drop your questions and comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.